start coming down the coast in late August. Also, the last week in August, nighthawks migrate along the main coast. On Harbor Island, sometimes we get uh, marsh hawks. them uh, pushing the marketing the puffin line. Yes. Logo. I've never seen so much puffin in one place. Yeah. Great idea. Cutest little bird. Yeah. He's very enigmatic. I mean, how, could you, how could you not like a puffin? Right? Yeah, yeah. Alright, that's the um, happy dance and celebration of a life bird on Hog Island. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you also have a lot of water to crack and drain and to this, which I have not mastered. Oh, there, there we go. Oh, wait, no, but I'm like, it's easy to get full after that moment. All right, Joy, show me Carrie. Two thumbs up. Okay. Rich guy doesn't affect Carrie. All right, everybody ready? ready? You want to get your little periwinkle in here? Yeah, I got it. Is there a specific periwinkle toast, do you think? No, we're going to. No, we're going to. Or is this going to be a, there is? Yeah. 
Well, that's probably close enough. No, right? I mean like toast as in, you know, oh, the thing you dip in drawn bread. butter with as your in, periwinkle. No, no, I mean toast as in... Hey, here's periwinkles. Oh, oh. Periwinkles. Oh! oh. Periwinkle oh. abuse! Oh, okay. <laughs> Link up all our different chapters because we were all along the flyway um, and incorporate the bird from the community as well as some citizen science. Um, and look at the big picture in, in a new way that we were learning about here. Um, so in an effort to get there, we were trying to think of specific problems we had that we were trying to address. And then in discussing and looking at potential bird targets, um, we came up with an idea about the broad wing hawk, because we thought that was a, a terrific umbrella species that, that ran the gamut along the whole flyway and included some of the interesting concerns of the bigger picture as um, John and Francis were talking because they go all the way down to the wintering grounds in central Latin America. I want to make a, a comment about this group's topic in that it's a, I think it's a really good example of trying to grapple with an activity that your chapters have already been involved with and now you're trying to figure out how is it or how might it be connected to first the flyway and then second how might you leverage it to result in some conservation outcome, some protection of habitat, some benefit to the target species. Because in and of itself, it's interesting, it's fascinating, people really like it, it's an opportunity to engage people. But participating in hawk watching in and of itself doesn't really result in conservation. So that's the chat now, is, is struggling in a similar way with this new strategic plan and trying to figure out how they connect to flyways and how they can make their, their activities more directly result in conservation outcomes. So this is a really good example of that sort of transition that we're all in right now. So thanks for, for, for weathering that. <laughs>
Oh. It's like testing. <laughs> oh, the, the. Okay. Invigorating. Delta. Invigorating. Very nice, Delta. Fantastic. John? Oh, jeez. Uh, challenges is to be reached. That's three words. Challenging. Challenging. Inspiring. Fulfilling. Fulfilling. Very nice. Joe? I'm sorry? Um, you want me to speak? Just one word that describes how you feel about your week here on the island. Uh, one word? One word. Um, one word. There's a lot of words. <laughs> and to bring it down to one, like impressive, amazing, fantastic, incredible, um, uh, paradise. Huh? You know, northern paradise, which for me is um, mm -hmm. kind of uh, exotic coming from Miami. This is exotic. There you go. Okay, we're coming your way, John. Ah, super califragilistic, <laughs> Wow.